In this video, we will be getting actors to be pulled towards a target, an example is the Minecraft experience orbs like this overview. To start, open up your actor. I open up the XP orb. I have an old sphere collision to collect orbs, I am going to make this smaller, just small enough to cover the sphere. We now need another sphere collision. Make this big as it is the range the actor can be pulled. I choose a size of 200 to 300 as it is fine. Scroll down in the details and click on begin overlap. From other actor, search for equals equals. We want it specific to the player, get player character or pawn. Add a branch. On true, promote other actor to target. I suggest doing this if you don't want the player check and want to use other actors. We are also using an event tick we want it as an is valid check to play and stop it. Now click on sphere collision and create on end overlap 2. Copy and paste the above code, but delete the connection between other actor to its target actor. Right click and create a custom event. Call it pull towards target. We can search for an add local actor offset. We are using direction and speed rather than actual locations. Get your target actor. Get actor location. We also want another actor location for our orb. Subtract both. This gets the vector from the actor to the player. We can normalize it to get direction. You have seen this maths before in past tutorials for line tracing. Get a multiply. We need a world delta seconds so the speed is stable and updates properly. Add another input. Next make a new float variable called speed. Connect it to the final input. Compile and give a high speed like 5000. Experiment with it. Now if you are using a timer, you want to use it at the end of overlaps like this. Here is an accompanying screenshot zoomed in. You just need a timer on the overlap begin and a clear timer on end overlap. However, I will be using an event tick, so go to the top and make space. Add an event tick. Get your target actor and right click it. Convert it to a validated get. This also stops the function from being run if there is no target. Call the pull function. We are done now. It has basic features, I could have added gradual speed and made it swirl around the player but for now test it. Hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing and sharing. See you next time.